and it isn't your crack pipe, then whose is it? I would ask Marge. Why don't you go ask her, Rocky, since you're dating her now? Hey, Marge, is this your crack pipe? I don't even smoke cigarettes. You two are disgusting. I gotta go live. Go out in the yard like I tell you every day. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Oh, my God. Are you okay, Marge? Are you okay? Knocking that over, Rocky. Man. Whoa, 56 people already. What's going on here? Am I popular now? A lot of people. I'm getting stuck in the middle of all the drama. Okay, we got ads. I've been running around, sorry. I'll be right back. <clears throat> I got some of my favorite sayings on the wall now. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> no. You shouldn't. All you worry about is getting high. Uh, get out of my face, Marge. You'll never be professional. Mm. How are we looking now? Scarping Should that light be off? That light be off? Let me just be quiet. <clears throat> Don't you fall over again. Come on, twisty, twisty. Hey everyone, shoe nice again. How's it looking not too far away? It's not bad, it's good for story time. Hold on a second. Do we need more lighting? Less. I'm looking at you guys through a phone. Super chat doesn't work. Must not have any money in your account, bro. Mm -hmm. Good. 
that we got ads. Looks like a really cool game. <clears throat> hey, some people were saying that it was kind of like, you know, sounds like you're whispering. Is this okay right here? Right here, okay? <sighs> Today I'm going to tell you guys the life of shoe nice in the public school system. <sighs> Super chat works. Killer Pratt, I think, is just an idiot. He keeps saying he's blocked. You can't donate. Can you see me? I mean, he's really got, he's really self conscious, self conscious about himself. <clears throat> I don't drink anymore. I love when somebody comes in and says, Wow, you're still, still alive. Yep. And then I break off into Pearl Jam. Oh, uh, oh, I'm still alive. Eh, 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 eh. See what I mean? So I want to place this down and see if you guys can still hear me. Some people try and watch me on a lawnmower. Let's go over some of the old sayings, guys. We'll read them together. You can't see it, but above, thank you. And fuck you. Meth face. Then I got no boys just for kissing butt. Shoe nice 22. Either way. Game face. Mind over matter. I don't have a mind so it don't matter. Earl sweatshirt. H3H3 and THC. Baha ha he ha betches. Boom, full send, Steve will do it, IP2. Well, basically, shoe crew, California love, Mike Stud, UFC by 55. <laughs> and good old L.A. Breast. What are you going to do about it, L.A. Breast? Nothing. That's right. Mm. So we for L A V S. I know he wishes death upon me, or at least paralyzed from the neck down. All right, but that's a lot of people out there. I don't know what it is. You either love me or hate me. There's no in between. Like, yeah, he's all right. You know what I mean? Just some grown men just can't get over me. It's just crazy. All right, so does, does this work okay right here? I'm not going to L.A. California is not just L.A., bro. I'll be four hours out of L.A. So that means six driving. Did you ever know that you're a zero? L.A. breaths got me dying. It's got me dying as you can't even spell L.A. breast. All right, yeah, what's up with that, bro? Now what you gonna say? That's my friend, dude. Why am I talking to my microphone? You know? Why doesn't anybody in the studio help me? Paying you guys good money. I was so popular when I was on Tosh.0, oh, like four or five people just came in to work that day. And they weren't even working. They just wanted to see the legend at work. And Tosh comes in. He's looking around the studio and starts counting ads. He's like, are any more people here that aren't working today? He's like, don't touch the buffet. You neither, shoe nice. I said, man, I'm starving, dude. Just because you guys are on cocaine and aren't hungry. And he's like, what? I said, you heard me, you little skinny beanpole. And he swung at me. And I said, boom. Everybody's pulling me off him and shit. I hit him good so he didn't swell up for the show. <laughs> you know, dude, I was like the first, um, what's it called? Selfie. He doesn't do selfies with the guests. They like to surprise people. 
So you won't find a lot of Tosh.0 pictures with his celebrity profiles. I had to beg him. And he's like, don't show this anywhere on social feeds till the TV episode airs. And like, I, once I got home, I said, look at me and Tosh. And they blocked me on Twitter. Okay, so Wednesday morning, I'll be back on Twitter for the 200 people that followed me since I got suspended. Now I got almost 3,200, I think. It's been open, but I haven't been able to talk. I guess there's people in there trolling. I'll fix it on Wednesday. I got another shout-out from a dude named Blowbacks. Blowbacks, Brokeback Mountain. I don't know what his name is, but... Yeah, another video of Shoe Knights getting stuck in the middle of this Keemstar H3H3 Queefy Leafy fight. Really, you can't gotta be nice now. That's why H3H3 sent me cookies. Maybe if I move this up a little bit, get it out of that underneath that light. Oh, this is gonna be wonderful. Breaker, breaker, one nine. This is CB porn. <laughs> that was from Family Guy. I've been to California. I was living there, and then I just came back twice. This time I'm not. Um, Got to get out to the country. Got to get away from the big cities. It's going to get crazy, and I'm going to head up into the mountains and set up my prepper's cabin. You know what I mean? Get ready for the rock and roll. Is this better? How's this? All right, let's do shoe nice. It's the school days. Call it the school days. Should I hold the microphone like this? Or should I just set it down like that? Can you still hear me? Whoa, what happened to my shoe stream? <clears throat> so I'll just, so I get stoned and I just start writing on it, you know, my sheet. You guys here? This is fine right here. Where'd my game face go? He's busy with... He's cleaning. He's just cleaning. You almost done over there, bro? <laughs> that means almost. How could everybody understand Chewbacca? You know what I mean? It was the same old... Just fix it and get up here. Fuck you, Han. Don't swear... E.T. Benz, Benz, Benzner, Benzer, E.T. Benzer, E.T. phone home. First time you met a celeb, first time you kissed a chick, have you ever kissed a dude? Oh, I thought you met me and I was making out with you because I thought you were a chick. It's happened. Um, first time I met a celeb, I looked in the mirror. First time you kissed a chick... Yeah, she was about 11. I think I was in third grade. So what's that make me nine? We're playing doctor. If I ever kiss a dude, thank God I haven't. You know what I mean? It was close one night. Was too many Jack Daniels. <laughs> uh, can you do that again, bro? I love answering questions for money, bro. Please. <clears throat> My buddies played a joke on me one time, and I was so drunk. We went. They were saying we were going to a rock concert, and they sat me in front of this place, or in front of the stage. And when the curtain opened, it was all these like, you know, people dancing that other people like. Let's just say that. <laughs> I look back at my buddy. I was like, "You got me." All my homies hate Kings. So I never heard of them. See ballerina dancer? I've heard of him. Uh, <clears throat> Everybody's like, you got Keemstar demonetized? Nah, I just like saying that. Because then it brings, you know, it's publicity to me. Either. I didn't even know he had it on. I did know, but I didn't know. And then it was gone. Somebody said, yo, he put up that 
a broken arrow video. I said, man, he's going to get it taken down because it's already a marked video. It's already got that tag. Every video, everything is digitally, you know, in this big file at the, the mountain of the internet. What is the internet? Is it like a giant box? I mean, where does it all come from? I type in marijuana dispensaries and there's 280,000 results within 0.5 seconds. Let's see what it is for shoe nice. Let me see. I got to can't see this bad boy. Uh, let me see when you Google shoe nice how many results. 707,000 results in 0.49 seconds. That is amazing. And it's all me, trust me. There's no Shoe Nice shoe company. There was a Shoe Nice YouTube channel back in 2008 when I tried to join a Shoe Nice. The internet is a turtle. All right, I see where you're going with that. Like in Breaking Bad, where the, the, the cartel's dude's head was on the turtle. Hank Schrader wasn't having that. Best pro. Oh my God, this is awesome. Get out of here, Oblivion, with that $2. Hey, I'm just kidding. Thanks a lot, Oblivion and PC. I'm just kidding, man. Everybody, yeah, that's a good Q&A, bro. You do three for 10. I'll do for 99. You can buy me a piece of turd for 99 cents. It's down in the emojis or something. Best prank I, best prank I ever pulled. Probably, um... I knew my brother and his buddies were coming up um, this old back road, country road, and they were speeding, drinking, and smoking weed. So me and my other buddy, we pulled back, and they went by, and we pulled out, and we're just hitting the high beam, low beam like cops, and it's working perfect. So my brother pulls over, and everybody's throwing their weed and their beer out of their car. <laughs> and I ran up, and I said, like, can I get a hit? And they were all so pissed off, man, the, uh, some things aren't funny. Because I was always the prankster, me and my brother, we just were the pranksters of the party. My, I remember my buddy climbed uh, 80, 90 feet in the air to take the light bulbs out of a, a tower. <laughs> I think a plane hit it the next day, but still, it was a good cake party. I think that taking a piece of marijuana... And take, I duct taped it up to the top of a 7-Eleven one time. And it smelled for like a week in there. We were doing the roof and stuff. And like every time somebody heated a sandwich, it would heat up the mic, the marijuana I taped up to the top of the inside of the microwave. That's a really good prank. Uh, my brother pretended he was blind once when he was seven. So he could watch the rest of the movie with the babysitter. But when the movie was over, he couldn't say he, he could see. So he still said he couldn't see. My mom got home. They rushed him to the hospital. He was in the hospital for like four or five days. This is back in the mid-70s where I just thought the kid couldn't see. <laughs> oh, it's a, that's a miracle. He can see. I think it was the weekend. <clears throat> um, what other pranks? He used to do stupid stuff. Oh, what's up? I'm sorry. What were the other questions? My bad, bro. Let me get back here. Breaker 1-9. Break. You versus Keemstar. Keemstar's got the waistline of the king from the movie, Shrek. Yeah, I mean, he just hides behind that bowl of popcorn or whatever. <laughs> I'd be like fighting one of the roll-offs from the TV show Little People, Big World. Ah. <sighs> F. Mary Kill. What does that mean? F. Mary Kill. Mark, Hillary. They've already met. Yeah. Hey, Mark, you remember that summer we went and met them guys in New York, right? Yeah, they smelled like Grateful Dead. That's kind of rude. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that question means. You're going to have to donate five to give me details. It's not my fault. <clears throat> Let me get back to where we are. All right, we're starting out with a good donation week. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. Now. All right, Slank, I pinned your comment. Did you make the video of Shoe Nice pinning your comment? You, you'd be surprised. People make Shoe Nice videos with Shoe Nice in the title, and they get lots of views. 
That one dude, he blew right up. The one that made the downfall issue nice. He changed the um, avatar for some reason. Or the thumbnail. It looks better now. But so he got like 2.5 million on a video just starting out as a channel. Sunny something, Sunny B. Can I do crazy eight impersonation? I'm crazy. Get out of here, bro. Don't even listen to crazy eight. Listen to Earl Sweatshirt. Later, E.T. Besner. Where's he going? Did you donate? All right. Later, bro. Still running for mayor. Psh, I got the time, bro. I don't even have the energy. Or <laughs> the, what's it called? The energy or the, um, not the willpower. Just when you don't want to get out of bed. I don't have the... Chief Queef, are you friends with uh, Queefy Leafy? <laughs> He's a good guy, man. Just checking to see if I'm doing okay. Thanks, owner of the pawners. What do you, pawn shop owner? You don't care about humanity. You sit there and you take our personal items and you freaking charge us ten times more than a bank loan. Out of my face with your freaking Xbox. Still got mine? Alright, cool. What's going on with ICE in Austin, Texas? You don't drive around now. Coronavirus is coming back. Oh, them people on Memorial Day weekend, we don't care. Yep, you're killing your grandparents now. All oh, them spring breakers, every they're like the you know, they're like the witches of Salem now. All oh, them bitches that went to spring break and now everybody's sick in their town, they can't go anywhere. They got like they got Fried an A on the back <laughs> for the scarlet letter. Well, thanks. I don't know. I've seen it on uh, Instagram or something. Three girls go to spring break and kill the town. That's got to be a tough one at the diner. You know what I mean? Hey, Johnny. How's that devil daughter of yours doing? <laughs> Why are you so annoyed about Corona? I don't care about Corona. Keem called me out. We got a new one, Scally? Well, I hope it's a new one. That's old news if it says. You guys all here from Keemstar? Drama skirt? Hey, how's the training going? I'm just like shooting punches everywhere I go, bro. I was standing in line at the grocery store I accidentally capped this little old lady in the back of the head. She turned around. She's like, that's a cheap shot. Come on. I was like, you want to dance? And it took like two security guards to take her off of me. Hey, what's up, Ted? Acting like a guy named Jeffrey Johnson. How you been? Yeah, don't start writing paragraphs in here, kill a pred. You want to go talk to him, get his email or MySpace, because I don't care if you got a shoe nice membership badge. You start filling up my shit with a personal conversation, I'm going to start blasting upside the head. Shank, yeah. Shoe shank redemption, bro. Shoe shank redemption. When I was in the, in the bathtub and I was reaching up with that milk pouring on my face, that was, I was. I was channeling that movie when he broke through the sewer pipe and he was free at last. I thought that was a real movie. I mean, a true story. And they took the picture and then they had the newspaper clip in. I thought that was real. Oh, I'm, for, I'm playing Fortnite right now, Carson. All right, hold on. I'm going to hide in the bush. I got the invisible freaking game controller now. Yeah, it's hooked up by magnets and, like, little pixel things. Sick. Oh, good old times, golf cart. Is that my buddy? How did you know that, bro? First time ever drunk. So you guys can hear me all right? Lisa Simpson? I don't even know how to do Lisa. Lisa Simpson. Has anybody seen Lisa? No, I haven't seen her. I'm right over here, guys. <laughs> yeah, 
he just got you here at once. Appreciate it, Keenan. Appreciate it. All right, see, I pinned that dude's comment, and he donates. Just wanted to know about the sheet of acid, the sheet of shoe. Oh, what, what about it, bro? That's all my old sayings and just, you know, people that are bigger YouTubers than me, so I figured I'd, you know, kiss some butt on here. P and P, if you don't know what P and P stands for, you're new here. You know what I mean? <clears throat> USC by 55. Started USC by 33, way before YouTube. Told myself when I was 28, I'm going to be ready by 33, 43. Now I had 53 because it rhymed with UFC, but now we're going 55. But I think I might just shoot for UFC by 63, and then I got a good 11 years of training. I can go over to the Orient. Is it called the Orient? I can go over. <laughs> I can go over to the Oriental people, and I can learn karate and kung fu like Bruce Lee, and just knock you out from six inches away. All right, so here we go with the story of the day, guys. What all started out in nursery school, as far as I can remember. My mom brought me there, and I just started screaming and kicking, crying. So my mom had to stay there a little longer, and I finally got used to it. But there was always a bully, you know? I had bullies all the time. And you know what? In the old picture that was in the album I would see years later as a grown-up, the bully just looked like a bully. I mean, he looked, I got, God, he looks like somebody, an old-fashioned Somebody that's in prison in the 1920s, like that movie Shushank Redemption, get busy living or get busy puffing. Yeah, man. <laughs> the dude was just evil. So then, you know, nursery school ended, and then I went to first grade. First grade was all right. Just, just remember a lot of little girls just running around and picking on me and kicking me and always taking my stuff, so the only way I could really, like, you know, deal with that issue was just I would start eating stuff for the class. <laughs> I don't know, I would just eat the paper, and they'd be like, don't eat the paper, Christopher. My own paper, you know, just being known at the side of a blue binder. I just, oh, did we just glitch? Are we still live? Bye-bye. Let me refresh that and get rid of that and do this. I don't like to glitch it too much when I'm telling stories. I do have the Shoe Nice Audible coming out. So anyways, first grade was basically the same as second grade. Still the same school. Second grade, my father started banging other women. My mom, sh sh sh, drinking. So it wasn't a lot of fights at home. He just knew something was weird. So like the following that summer... They got divorced, so we left that second grade and went to a new school, third grade. Now, third grade wasn't bad. It was in uh, South Glens Falls. We had an apartment near, a, like, the first triple X porno movie drive-in theater. And you could literally go through the woods and you could see the movie. My mom made a big complaint about it and they had to build this giant wooden fence. That's not the first time my mom shut down a, a porn drive-in movie theater. So third grade was basically, you know, same old, same old. Dudes that wanted the girls weren't getting them. They wanted me. I was too shy, you know, sitting in the back of the corner, little blue shoe. <laughs> you know, a girl would approach me. I would just give her, you know, step on the cat's tail face. <laughs> I'll just start stuffing my face with Elmer's Paste. Now, Elmer's Paste, I was introduced probably third grade, second grade. He just took the top off of the paste, and it was a spoon right there, and you dipped it out, and you spread it on whatever you were making. And I would just love it. And I'd eat it. And you'd, you'd have, like, a jar for each table. And then he'd, and Mrs. Johnson, Christopher's eating all the paste. These kids would be going home with half-done art projects, you know what I mean? Turkeys with no feathers on Thanksgiving. 
<coughs> I'd be eating all the macaroni for the Mother's Day cards. <laughs> uh, uh, popsicle sticks, just gnawing on them. So then, you know, eventually fourth grade came around. We moved again because the apartment complex, my brother shut down the power grid and a couple ladies were on oxygen tanks and stuff. So landlord said, you got to go like the place before that one. So my mom said, screw it. I'm just going to rent a house on a farm, which she did. So now me and my two brothers, we move across the street from this farm family. They built a new house, which they usually do, and they rented out this house from 1787. Really haunted. Uh, the basement just... Either way, fourth grade, everybody goes to school with cow shit on their boots. Yeah. You get up four in the morning, you milk them all cows. And then you head off onto the school bus. Me and my brothers get on the first day. We're just like, there's like one kid. Everybody's just like from the movie Deliverance, you know, where cousins just sleep with other cousins. And this is like upstate New York. One chick, she had one eye go one way and one eye go that way. And she looked up over the seat and she goes, you better look into my right eye or I'm going to beat you up. I was just trying to guess. I said, that one? Every day on that bus, this girl would just get on. Now, I'm in fourth grade, and she's in, like, sixth grade, but she looks huge. You know, looking back on the yearbooks, I think that I could have taken her. But then we would play with them after school, which was weird, you know? But, man, them houses were creepy. It was all old. The farmer was all skinny, and he'd spank us. Whenever we were doing something wrong on the farm, my mom, she was a hot redhead with fake titties in the mid-70s, so the farmer hitting on my mom, the wife didn't like my mom. But this teacher one day, because I was a class clown in this fourth grade class, she came up and smacked me right in the back of the head, and it hurt. I started crying, so I went home and I told my mom, I said, Mom, teacher smacked me really hard in the head. She said, what? So the next day, she brought me into school, and she, she, we walked right in the class together. She walked over. She goes, you ever touch my son again, I'm going to beat the fuck out you, you ugly pig. And then we went back to the house, and yet that lady never even went down my aisle again. She didn't even want her hip to rub up against me. So fourth grade, you know, we got out of there, you know, social services was bothering us because my mom would just like, you know, she loved the party. So that's what she did. And like the neighbor, I cracked my brother's head open on a dresser one time and the neighbor came over. She's like, were you guys fighting? I'm like, nah, nah, he slipped and fell and hit a dresser six feet up. And uh, so she called and the next day my father had to come get us. So then we switched to another school. Now you got me and my two brothers coming off this farm, farm community, just dirty, scrubby kids. My father said our, all our clothes fit into one big 55-gallon drum, and there was bugs and everything in it. Either way, I'm in the fifth grade. Now fifth grade, the bitches started hitting on dudes all the time. I had these chicks hitting on me every single day. Just sitting there, you want a pencil? And then she tried to give me a letter, and I said, I don't want your letters. Take it. And I don't want to circle yes or no. Will you go out with me? She hired some bully to take the, me to read the letter. He goes, if you don't circle yes, I'm going to beat you up. I said, I'll see you on the playground. So we roll around. You rip somebody's jacket. You go to the principal's office. But I fought this dude, Jay Mason, all the way through. From that fifth grade fight to outside of a bar when I was like 40 something. He just never <laughs> learned. He always wanted to be. There's so many dudes that always tried to beat me up and they couldn't. And it drove them crazy because they were a wrestler or thought they were a tough guy. I'm a beast. Think about it. So then um, fifth grade was just, man, this panic syndrome. On the sixth grade, um, then I just started really just doing like cafeteria tricks. Sixth grade, 
you know, they everybody get their napkins and soak them in the milk, and I would just stand up against the wall, and they try and smack my face with a giant milk spitball, and I just wipe it off the wall and eat it. They just throw all their shit down at the corner. That's where I got the human garbage disposal. And I'd be sitting at the front table, and I'd be throwing just stuff off the ground. I'd be catching it in my mouth like a basketball. Same thing with our class, just eating stuff. Seventh grade, we had home economics. I had a, the four biggest bullies, and then bitches were really hitting on you in seventh grade. I was just like, leave me alone. But the ugly dudes that liked the chicks, the chicks wouldn't even pay attention to them. So they would push me out in the hall and say, ask that girl out right now. And I'd be like, Chrissy O'Malley, will you go out with me? And she'd be like, ew. And I'd be like, is that enough? No, ask out Julie Springer. And she was really ugly. Will you go out with me, Julie? Yes. That's me hitting myself for dating Julie Springer. So I would eat all the stuff. We were in the group together, and they would punch me in the ribs. Eat that, eat that. So I was eating baking soda and tablespoons of sugar. Our food never came out right, because you'd only get certain ingredients, and I'd be eating the stuff. Either way, eighth grade, I started going full force. I was just a class clown. I knew I was going to win class clown in the yearbook. Anywhere I went was just a joke. You know what I mean? I'd take the handle of a crutch that you would use if you broke your leg. The top part, it looked like a, you know what, if you put a little hole in it. And then I'd stick it outside of my pants and just walk down the hall while the whole football team followed behind me laughing, falling over each other. <sighs> Ninth grade, I was lost, you know. No more bullying. My brother was a junior, but then he had left, so I was just alone and just like, I was a class clown, so I, 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 I sat with the nerds, and then, you know, eventually I was just like, man, I gotta get some, you know what, because bitches are hitting on me. So my buddy's like, dude, just join wrestling, just join wrestling. So there was like this sign up in the summer or something, and I like beat two dudes that had been wrestling for the whole season, and I kept wrestling and beating people, but everywhere we went, it was just on the buses to the sports, whatever. Eat this, eat this, you know, running around with 10 dirty jock straps on my head <laughs> for nothing. Tea bag, please. Go on the girls' softball team right after that and get carpet drags. Never got, who's telling me to be quiet, Jeff Johnson? You get out of here now, Ted. You come in as yourself. This is time out, block out. This is time out, block out. Who's glad that Jeffrey Johnson's going? Anybody? Anybody see my new video? I completely forgot what I did. <laughs> oh, I got it. H3H3 cookies. Thanks, guys, if you're watching, Ethan. Appreciate it. I know the producer watches me all the time. Uh, we played Keemstar like a rug. <laughs> uh, H3H3 face. Oh, I got a new one. I got a new one. Hey, everyone. Shoe nice again. On your mark. Game face. Get set. H3H3 face. Shoe nice. Shoe nice. Shoe nice. I don't think that was the one. Cause some Somebody told me to do something, and it was really funny. I know Ethan Persley is my cameo partner. We be quiet. Slank, stop talking, dude. Just because you don't, I don't mean you can own the chat. I don't care. Ten dollars. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're really good people, whoever you are. Oh, did you make that video? Slanking, 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 is it slanking? Slank, stupid thing, Ann. That's her name. Slank, stupid thing, Ann. Snades, 
Snades, what's up, man? Did I get another shout out? Snades in the house, baby. That's Snake Aids, baby. Snake Aids. You don't know Snades. You don't know nothing. It's a shout out to my Snades network. <laughs> Whoever they are. Oh, that's Max Mofo. My bad, my bad. Good people out there looking for you, man. Good people. <clears throat> All right, A. I gotta get rid of you. Gotta get rid of you. You gotta have a face to talk in here, guys. Everybody knows that. Every... Snades gang gang, baby. <laughs> What's the sign saying? Oh, shoestream. <laughs> Ho ream. Ho ream. <clears throat> Thanks, bro, because I want to watermark all my shit. Thanks, bro. We got Steve will do it. Oh, I'll basically IP2. Boom. The P sign. I almost made it into a Mercedes Benz sign again. That's P sign taking the crap. Know what I mean? All right, so now we're on to what? <clears throat> We were ninth grade, tenth grade wrestling. Bitches hitting on me. Then I started to drink. <laughs> My buddy Shannon, who hung himself over a chick. Most of you know that dude. Either way, his name was Shannon Joy. That was his name as a dude. But he got me in so much trouble. I ran away, wrote checks on my father's account. He just turned my whole life to where I am today. Thank you. When I get to heaven, I'm going to beat your butt, bro. Uh-huh. But anyway, so I was just like, yo, bro, man. He's like, stop up at the house. I was like, why? He goes, I want to show you something, right? And he's on the soccer team. So him and his buddies up there. I know these guys from ever, you know. So we're all just smoking some weed. <laughs> and then the next day, it's just like, hey, man, let's get drunk, bro. Come on, man. This is before he made me run away and everything. So we're drinking and stuff and... I'm liking this drinking stuff, man. I'm really enjoying just getting the buzz and going to school. So then we would leave, like, for lunch. You know, we could leave and come back, and we'd drink a whole beer ball between six people. And I'd always be the guy sucking out the last of the beer heading back to school. So eventually it caught up to me, you know, um... The nurse, the nurse would come and they, you know, they wouldn't call your parents. They just put you in. She, the nurse liked you. They'd bring you down to the office and I would just sleep in the nurse's bed till I sobered up. This wasn't allowed every day, obviously. It happened sporadically where they caught me. So eventually this dude brought me home a senior and they tucked me into bed and I got back up and hitchhiked to school thinking it was the morning. And these two chicks picked me up. They were twins with their mom. They loved me after that ride. And I actually did my first three beer bottle trick at their 16th birthday party. I was in 10th grade. They were juniors after a wrestling match that I won from the toughest guy at the toughest school, JV. So, yeah, um, junior year came and I'm just drinking and having a good time and I'm failing all my classes. Now, my brother, he's at a private school. He's two years, like he's in ninth grade when I'm a junior. In the middle of my junior year, I asked my dad if I could go to the private school. You know, I just want to get a better education. So they said, well, if you go to this school, you have to go back a year. So I had to go back a year. So I would do my 10th grade over, start in second semester. Because I already did my junior going back. I just did 10th grade. So I would do a full junior year there at the private school. So yeah, the first day there, there's all kinds of rich bitches everywhere. My little brother's already there. He's just a little nerd freshman with his our two friends from April Park. And they were big time trouble. They got thrown off the basketball team, whatever. And here comes big brother Chris. Now there's just, it's just women everywhere. Now, I, read, I meet this kid, Brendan Kennedy. He's the son of the author, William Kennedy. Wrote Iron Weed, won a Pulitzer Prize. You'd have to know a lot about reading if you, to know this guy. But they were, everybody was rich. 
real estate moguls, just the cartel would send their daughters up to the boarding school that was right in our school. And we'd hang out with all these millionaire Mexicans and so they just love the Shuey brothers. We go to the mall with them and stuff, follow them in a van and the lady driving the van wouldn't even know what's us and we'd throw eggs at the van and then we'd just be waiting at the mall parking lot. Hey, you got egg on your van. Oh man, we were terrible. So anyways, they would just all had just really good liquor and stuff. My dad's like, all right, he's gonna go to this private school. I'm gonna pay a lot of money and he's just gonna get off all this uh, public school drinking. Uh-uh, it was just better booze. And I was just, they are like, come on, come on, stop it. I, da, 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 da. I just couldn't catch the buzz, you know? And everybody else was with a couple shots. I wanted to be walking into school like this. I mean, we laughed at the space shuttle blowing up back in 85, 86. It wasn't funny at the time, it was. And we got in trouble for that because we did it in front of a couple nuns. But we were really bad kids for a private school. We... we me and my brother Matt weren't formed for that school. It was connected to like this nun sanctuary or whatever you call them where nuns live. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. We're either way, so yeah. Come junior year of this private school, you know, I'm just drinking, smoking weed, ah, screw it, sleeping in trigonometry. I didn't care. The weed would seem to be doing it, but I, I just had this attitude like I'm not going to need this stuff in the future kind of dude that you'd see in a movie of me. I'm the real Forrest Gump. And will you stop it with the soccer balls, vegan crush? I'm blocking you forever, man. I thought you learned, dude. I'll bounce Wilson off your head. Wilson. I'm sorry, Wilson. Uh, you better worry about that. Well, pissing on you, Tom Hanks. I hate Tom Hanks. You know, like, Anyway, so um, we're just a mess, you know. I'm I'm sitting there. I, I broke the piano strings on this piano, right? And uh, you can't do that, dude. You're banned forever. I got him. Let me get him, Keenan. Keenan's probably working. He wouldn't allow this. So, anyways, I'm just sitting there, and they come up to me. And they, I'm on, I'm on the discipline committee. It's a group of teachers, the principal, headmistress, whatever they call them, and students. So if somebody got in trouble at that school, you'd go in front of the, then they would decide your fate. Students and teachers would get together. So I had to quit the um, discipline committee and go in front of it the same day. All right, Mr. Shuey, you're, you're claiming that you didn't break these strings on this piano? I'm like i never even seen that piano. Timmy, did you see Mr. Shuey break? Uh-huh. He cut him with these wire things the guy had in his in a janitor office. Well, this guy says, you snuck into the janitor. I, this dude's mom smokes crack. I'm fighting this till the end. You're done after school, Timmy. You, you better run really quick to the bus. Yeah, I did it. What are you going to do about it? So they decided to send me to rehab for seven weeks. 49 days I'm going doing schoolwork and everything at this rehab. Now they want, they sent me this rehab to get off of the booze. I learned nothing about anything other than acid and mushrooms. I didn't care about booze. I couldn't wait to get out of rehab to try this little piece of paper that dudes were telling me about for 49 days falling asleep in bed. Not in the same bed, just in the same room. Oh, I was tripping one night, man. I just, I seen this. I was like, well, how do you see it, man? Is your eyes open or closed? So about all these trails? I want trails. You know what I mean? And one morning I woke up, right? And I was laying in the head. And I, I think they talked so much about, you know, acid, I swear to God. I was sitting in an acid stream, man. And I was just like, wow. Is this the morning AA meeting? Because I'm feeling really groovy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ning, 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 ASMR. But anyway, so, um, yeah. 
I get out of rehab and I'm just on a trip. <laughs> I get out of rehab and my father's like, proud of you, son. No, you're not. The night before when I spoke to the class, the teacher had to answer the phone. And I said, hey, I can't wait to trip. Thanks a lot. And she wanted to talk to my father before I left, but we scooted. I made him scoot. So me and my brother smoking weed two days later and Aruba tripping on acid a week later. Found out what mushrooms were. My first acid trip was when I was watching Pink Floyd The Wall at a party. The dude's name was Angus. And we crashed my stepmother's car on the way home. Somebody ran into us. And for weeks we thought she was going to see that tire. And when she did, she thought somebody did it at her work. Did you ever know that you're tripping on acid? So we'd go to Grateful Dead concerts. We didn't care. So I went back to school, right? Hey, he's back. Hey, sorry about the piano. Hey, man, I'm really proud of you. This is the dean of students. You know, when I first met you, I knew you were somebody that was going to lead. A month later, I'm all high, drunk in his office. Wow, I can't believe you blew this chance, bro. You know, this is going to affect you your whole life. Yeah, whatever, Mr. Punk. And then, um, yeah, so um, basically I was thrown out of there, so I quit right before exams. You know, exams, who needs them? And um, my father's just like, you know, you're being a real jerk. And then he's like, I smell beer on your breath. You just got out of rehab. And I'm like, you see this trail pops? Pow! I'm moving out. I moved out like Kevin Bacon in the movie Footloose. And I had a Volkswagen bug just like him. But I'd never date a chick with boobs that tiny. Either way, I'd have got to cut loose. So, yeah, um, I quit. And I went to my brother's house and moved out of my father's. I was like, I'm out of here. So my brother was a roofer, right? So I said, I'll be a roofer. So he let me take the Firebird one more time to my private school. I knew I was quitting. I was just going one more day. And he's like, hey, what are you doing on the property? And I'm like, I'm going to show you what I'm doing on the property. And I just tore up my brother's Firebird all the way up the hill parking lot sideways. And that's how you quit private school, even if it is the last day. But anyway, so <laughs> I started roofing, just smoking weed, tripping. It was the summer of acid, the summer of 87. I should have already been graduated high school and waiting to go on to college, but I never had graduated high school yet. I went behind and never even finished. So basically I needed one more senior year to get out of high school. So I'm just hanging out and then, you know, the fall's coming and it's getting a little chilly and I'm just like, hey, I'm going to go try and make amends with my father. He's like, you kiss my ass. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. So I went to live with my mom. Now, my mom didn't care. She'd live anywhere. If she was saving rent, she'd live anywhere. So we were like the only white people for like 18 blocks. I didn't care. Walked to school the first day. Just, you know, crazy. It was like that movie, Lean on Me or whatever, where they're cheering for the principal to get out of jail. <laughs> Uh, just, uh, it was crazy. Everybody thought I was, uh, 21 Jump Street. Because I, I guess that show was on TV at the time. Ain't no way this cracker boy, ain't no way he gonna be stewing around here. I was like, I am, I'll go get my drunk mom. She's home watching The Young and the Restless. <laughs> so one day at school... We're playing basketball, and this dude threw the ball at me. He, he had it in one hand, and he went to throw it to his buddy, but then faked it to me. And I'm just standing there. When's the bell going to ring? Pfft. And then just my nose exploded and just blood everywhere. I didn't realize a basketball could do that much to a face. Either way. Yeah, man, I... Uh, I just went home, and I was just like, there's gang fights there all the time. And I said, I'm going to just join the Army. <laughs> My mom's like, ah, you're going to join the Army and quit just like your brother, huh? I said, yep. And she's like, good luck. 
So, off to the army I go. Still no diploma. It was like the last year you could go into the army without a high school diploma. I had to sign this thing saying I'd get a GED in my AIT in the state of Missouri. And so I go off. Basic training was a nightmare. I was just a class clown where you shouldn't be a class clown. Eight weeks of living hell. Got out of there. Got my GED in AIT and I had the highest score in Missouri's history. My sergeant's like, look at this. Our platoon idiot is the highest. I said, it's two times two equals seven. I mean, a GED test, you know? Either way, I don't know if I still have the highest score, but there was a letter from the governor and everything. <clears throat> so I got out of the army. Me and my buddy Shannon. <laughs> Headphone check. Yeah, so we get out of there, and uh, my buddy Shan's like, come on, take your army money. Let's move to wherever. We ran away. We wasn't running away. We were on our own, but we went somewhere. We always were these entrepreneurs. We're going to start a cocaine business. Let's sell T-shirts in a van on the beach. You know, surfboard painters, you know. We're going to wax your surfboard. Uh, we wax our own surfboards. <laughs> You know what I mean? Keep walking, Matthew McConaughey wannabe. And then, uh, yeah, so I came home. My mom gave me a bus ticket. I was just sick of it. And she, she lived in another town now, which was all mostly just psh, crazy pothead idiots. The whole city. Troy, New York. So I moved in with my mom and her two friends. One was kind of like, you know, multiple sclerosis like my godmother had. And the other one was just whacked, just like, hey, like eating breakfast with Walter White Jr. on meth. Take night, I need. So I was just, you know, chilling out with these three women. And, you know, I was partying still. And we went to my father's house and we partied there. But my buddy, well, he stayed there and banged a chick and they smoked cigarettes all weekend. So my brother calls me, dude, what were you guys doing here? It smells like cigarettes. So my father found out my brother was driving around months before that in the family vehicle and everybody was hanging out of the windows tripping. So my father took cable TV out of my brother's bedroom. He's like, I'm not living here anymore. So now my brother moves in <laughs> with me and my mother. So me and my brothers were all out of our father's house by the time we were 17. My brother, 15, the older one. And he moves in, and now it's me, my brother, my mother, and I think the one lady moved out, and it was just the other lady. But when my other mother, brother moved in, the other lady just left, so then it was just me, my brother, and my mother. Now, my brother was still going to the private school, but I think he pissed on some um, St. Mary statue, so he got kicked out, too. So now... I'm, I still want to get my diploma. I'm out of the army. I quit my reserve unit. Come find me. And my brother, he just wanted cable TV. So my mom, she's dating this dude that had some good money, convertible car. We could all drive and stuff. So now it's me and my brother. He registers at the school. My mom's like, why don't you just register? You're not, you're still 20. <laughs> you won't turn 20 till May, so you can go. I said, screw it, you can get more family support from dad. So now me and my brother go down and we register in these classes. And when we started out, my brother was in first grade, I was in third. Now we're both seniors, two shoeies, and we get some of the same classes. All year long, I'm nothing but a drunk, Oops, let's get high. Didn't give a rat's ass, flipped off the principal, <laughs> leaving school, climbed the back of the mountain, yeah, while well, the whole school's cheering me on. It was insane. I got voted nicest eyes. They did all the um, yearbook stuff the first month of senior year. And I wasn't even there a week. The lady running the yearbook said, oh, no, I found, look at this guy's eyes. So I was nicest eyes. 1989 Lansingburg. Either way, all English class, me and my brother, all kinds of pranks, just stupid stuff. And uh, yeah, at the end of the year, the English teacher, two points I needed to graduate on stage with my little brother, she wouldn't give it to me. 
I'm like, come on. I want. I didn't even care. I want to make my father proud. Come on, you got to give me these points. So I just quit school, you know, that day, the, the last day of school again. So I quit school twice on the last day. They still voted me class clown. So then I quit that. I said, screw it, you know. Um, a few months later, I figured I'd try Hudson Valley, you know what I mean? Um, went to Hudson Valley. It's a community college. Psst. I just couldn't get up for class. Just I lived in an apartment complex with just kegs everywhere. <laughs> so I just wake. All right, I'll go get to this class. All right, I'm gonna, if it was all online, I would have been set. But it was like 1988. So you know, I quit then. You know, I just said screw it. I'm gonna go back to roofing. Went back to roofing and just roofed up, and then fell through a skylight like 16, 17 years ago. Broke my back. Went back to college, went for like four or five years, took acting, theater, production, TV, all that stuff in a TV studio. I mean, it's probably changed a little, but I'll, I know all that. I did can a commercial production. I could easily be a newscaster or the cameraman or both at the same time. You know what I mean? Either way, we're not on a subway. So, yeah, I was doing really good, high honors, blah, blah, but I could never get to the graduation stage, you know? I got my lawsuit for falling through the skylight. I'm like, screw college, you know? I was taking off my wedding ring, for, you know, put my hat on like this so I could smoke weed because they didn't want to talk to a 38-year-old family man, but if you were just some 28-year-old hustler, <laughs> I dropped 10 years and everybody believed it. Oh, shit. <clears throat> So then I quit there, and then um, down the road I said, screw it, I'm going to go back to college after this whole opiate addiction and just crazy drugs. And I just, I was going there to promote my YouTube. You know, YouTube had started getting like, uh, I was like, well, I'm getting views off these jokes, I'm going to eat some toilet paper. So then there was a big argument at the school because on the St. Patrick's Day morning, kegs and eggs, they just obliterated a neighborhood. It was like a war zone. And uh, you think the riots are bad here? Let's check out Sunni's kegs and eggs. But then the dude's like, yo, man, the president's like, I'm stopping Fountain Day. And it was on national TV. No, national TV was the earthquake in Japan compared to the kids wrecking the houses in Albany, New York. And we've seen it in sociology class. 200 people in that room. And we're watching this news clip. And everybody's like, we got to go protest. You can't stop a Fountain Day. Fountain Day is just like, it's just like a wet t-shirt contest for like 15,000 drunk bitches. Yeah. So I was like, they're not stopping Fountain Day. I'll be right back. All junked out on opiates still. And I went down to the hardware store and got a chain and a lock. And I went to this dry out, dried out fountain. And um, I chained myself to and stuck the key down my shoe. So now I'm just laying there with my, you know, I'm like, this is going to give me some YouTube views. Security comes over. Well, we really can't bother you. You're protesting without hurting anybody. I said, I'm staying here forever. All the news people came down. I was kicking news teams out of my fountain. It was my fountain. 17,000 students, not one person came in and stuck. They were throwing tampons at me. And I'm like, yes, they're watching my YouTube. I had this basketball player named Slim. He was like 6'9", with a 10-foot reach. So he would stack all shoe nice pictures around of just go to shoe nice. And then it was just around the whole campus. And I was getting two, three, four thousand new subscribers a day. Unchaining myself at night, going home like a pussy, and then coming back. Finally, somebody threatened to shoot me, so I left. And then that was that. And there's my high school, college career. $32,000 in student loans, not even an associate's degree, and a GED, one of the highest scores in the state of Missouri. Bam. Wow, what a story that was. Did it take up a lot of time? <sighs> so what do you guys think about all this drama? They're all shutting each other down, man. Everything's just happening systematically, so I'll be back on top again at YouTube. 
You know what I mean? <clears throat> that whole Steve will do it. He'll be imploding soon. There's his name right there. Is this backwards to you guys or is this forward? How are you seeing this right now? Are you seeing it normal? Oh, why don't I just look on my own little computer here? You're so stupid. Aren't I a good storyteller? Aren't I a good storyteller? Now you want to do all the bitches I bang? <laughs> I have a long time. I don't even remember half of them. All right. Are we getting raided? Hmm? Oh, yeah, it looks good. I can see it, yeah. Does anybody know what P&P &P stands for? I come to use. Oh my god. Now you want to do all the bitches? Oh, that sounds really good. Straight out of money, you come here to relax. So do a lot of other people. You just set your headphones on there, take a deep breath, and just be like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Deep breath in, deep breath out. We're starting out small, but this will go down. Is one of the greatest streams ever. I'll be up against Joe Rogan and Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> he found out the way to make money on YouTube. <laughs> Started out and then that's all he does now. Can't go around the country and do all these shows and everything he does. Can't, you know, all these studios and they think they're going to bring movies back. Look what happened with just Memorial Day weekend and stupid spring breaks. Everything is shooting up. Hospital beds filling up again. Ah. It's called spoiled, rotten people. You know, they all they care about is themselves. That's the ones that we got to send to an island someday. With all the other evilness. I will never go on Joe Rogan until he asks me, bro. <laughs> that's one. That's one place. But see, I'll be in California now. So now it's just a train ride away. I don't have to fly. Train from Denver. Uh, Colorado is beat. I got things to take care of. It's all the master plan, guys. And we're just going to be in a beautiful little setting with our live stream. But it really doesn't matter where you go live with Shoe Nice. Because there's nobody more epic. Am I right? Blade is one ugly looking dude. He looks like the right nut of OG Geezer. Looks like he manscaped his head with a scrotum cut. Yeah, I'm moving to Central Cali. You know, getting a little one bedroom out there. You know, taking care of business. Only use me blade. How did he even get famous with a name like that, you know? I just, I've never understood. My Shoe Nice 22 came because I tried to join a Shoe Nice and somebody was Shoe Nice back in 2008 when I joined. That dude that did that um, interview, or not interview, the figuring out Shoe Nice, the downfall of Shoe Nice, he blew right up. He blew right up, man. And that dude was small, and then he, then he did a video about me, and now he's huge. You know what that's called? The Shoe Nice Effect. Okay. It's called the shoe nice effect. What was I just going to do? Is something wrong over here? Fix it later. Everybody remembers ba ha ha he ha. <laughs> Bitches. Uh, Jake and Bake. Jake and Bake. So are you really Ted, bro? I don't, I just, it's, uh, everything's just blurry. I remember you from, like, somewhere. Uh, Twitch, maybe, but hey, you're donating, man. You're good people to me. I never had a problem with nobody. I just like busting balls. Don't be saying big ups, Jake and Bake. You donate kill a pred, Mauritius. Such a stupid name. You don't have an avatar. You know you're a hater. Undercover in the membership club. Leave now. Uh, 
No, Big Lemon Melon Head is Ted. Because that's what you used to call me, bro. But now I'm Hank Schrader, Ginger, Undercover, Ireland, DEA. Let's go, Walt Jr. <sighs> yeah, I should have got the dark. I gotta get the dark. It always turns orange. No. We got gingers in our family. My nephew's orange. <laughs> He's got orange hair. Mm. Tingly, don't talk about him anymore. This is about shoe nights, all right? Water boy, man. I can do a water boy impersonation. Anybody seen Bobby Boucher? Tell him practice is canceled. Don't tell his mom. Oh, I got a little Randy Savage going on in there. You ain't Randy Savage. You ain't shit. I will destroy you, Hulk. Oh, my God. N.O.K. 14 of them things from N.O.K. It's like 40 cents in America. I'm going to love that third of a Snickers bar from a hotel concession box, bruh. Pressure hit it. How big is your love? Is your love? How big is your toe? My right toe. My yeah, I got them toes that go longer than the big ones. You know what I mean? You got big toe and then second toe. It's like this. It curls over. I got nice toes, man. My toes are, you know, they're not award winning, but they're not gonna scare anybody. What are chicken poppers of punk? Norway for life, baby. You guys do a lot for this world. I'm just kidding. I was thinking of Finland. Listen to all the countries that watch me. I'm going to go to my analytics. This blows me away. This is in 28 days who's watched me. Why am I not world famous? Oh, it's not the people that have met me. It's the people that haven't met me. And that's a billion people. So let me go to my YouTube studio. I can't see you right now. It looks like I'm drunk, huh? I'm just high and it's hot in here. Um, let me see, let me see, analytics, 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 here we go, here we go. Wow, I've, <laughs> I've over doubled my revenue going live, guys, for just one week. Appreciate it. Not just the donations, just going live. <clears throat> then having really long videos that people watch. All right, hold on, hold on. Engagement. Reach. Audience, audience. It's amazing. I wish I knew all this stuff. I just don't. All right, here's the country. All right, here's 94% male, 6% female. Pigs. Uh, 13 to 17 years, 2%. 18 to 24 years old, 32%. 25 to 34 years old, my big one, 41%. 35 to 44 years, 14%. 45 to 54, almost 6%. And I have 55 and 65 plus years at 0.17. Somebody got a cameo for a 96-year-old, and I was busted on him. I hope it was fake. But even though, man. Oh, here we go. This is the countries, guys. Hello? No, I wanted to see all of them. Traffic source? Let me go back to the front. We get it. <clears throat> Geography. Right? <laughs> Here we go. All right. Views in the last 28 days, 
United States, 154,000. United Kingdom, 24,000. Canada, 19,000. Australia, 7. Germany, 5. Sweden, Netherlands, Ireland, Norway, Finland, Turkey, New Zealand, Denmark, Poland, Mexico, Italy, Belgium, Romania, Brazil, Brazil, Por Portugal, France, Spain, Croatia, Argentina, Chile, Austria, Greece, Philippines. How many Philippines had? 427 views. Switzerland, Czechia, Lithuania, India, Hungary, I'm Hungary, Russia. I'm Russian. Russian for what? The bus. Israel, Singapore, Singapore, Sing Singapore, Serbia, Bulgaria, Saudi Arabia, Japan, Indonesia, Latvia, Slovakia, South Africa, Estonia, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, United Arab Emirates, Colombia, and Puerto Rico coming in at 68 views last month. <sighs> Somebody's popular in the world today. Making it in the world today takes everything you can. Wouldn't you like to get away and hang out with a bunch of drunks like you? And everybody borrows money. <laughs> uh, I'm back. I'm coming back to you guys. Uh, I'm back. I'm back. Damn, I look high as a mama. Hanging out on a live stream. <gasps> Thank you for the donation, Jake and Bake. Keenan coming up in here with the. Oh my God. Marge, get over here. I'm doing the dishes. We don't have dishes. Shh. Thank you, Jake and Big 420. Glad to have you back, Ted. I'm just kidding. I know you're not, Ted. Either way, how could you watch him, bro? That's all I'm asking. I know you're here, Ted. How you doing, bro? I miss you. Please come back. That's for you, bro. I, I kissed your forehead. It rubbed you. Let's go celebrate, Marge. You got the lighter? Goddamn right. First March. You're gonna grab me again. Good. Take a shower. Yeah, you better. Yo, I'm getting so much money today, I feel like Post Malone. You know what I mean? Always high, baby. Always high. 
Gotta get your coffee in you, man. Easy, boy. This is what I put in. That's what I put in my coffee. Tastes just like creamer and less fat. You know what I mean? Sometimes I like to just shake it up like this. Refrigerator squeaking like Kim K's a JJ. <coughs> How's everybody doing up in here? Are we still here? Let's bling bling like a mopa. You always got to test the blue eye trick. I was mandated. There they are. Da, 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 that's a good looking mopa. To close March 24th, everything had just canceled. We got ads. <laughs> Keenan coming in here like a champ. He got the golden arrow, man. Not the broken arrow, the golden arrow. Yeah, man, we weren't made to. We weren't made cow's milk. Just the people like sheep. People wonder how do you sleep at night, dude? You're psychotic. I'll show you. Can't get to sleep. Next day news conference. <laughs> Try Zequel. It's not the medicine. It's just Zequel. Same stuff. <laughs> it takes care of my cold and cough. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> you chug <laughs> medicine, dude. This is a family friendly stream, and I'm looking way better looking than Posty Malone. Did you ever see Post Malone on H3H3 and he's trying to make H3H3 drink something? He's like, come on, come on, three, two, one, shoe nice. That was rude. Do you guys know Earl Sweatshirt, that song? It's, it just keeps getting relevant again. And people keep listening to it and they go to my YouTube slamming shit like shoe nice. Who's shoe nice? And then they come here and they see me eating ramen noodles. Thanks a lot, ye teeb. I could still be slamming liquor and posting it on, no, TikTok don't even do it, but I would be dead. If I still slam liquor like I did, I'd already be gone. So you guys would all be just watching reruns. Okay. <sighs> What's up, plant-based degenerate? That's a good name, man. At least you know where you're at in life, punk. You gonna do I'll bust out a love song from Post Malone, bro. Put circles on your ass. <laughs> I, I couldn't sing one lyric to one Post Malone song. Didn't even know who he was. Somebody came in and said, Yo, dude, Post Malone mentioned you in H3H3. I'm like, no way. The creator of Raisin Bran cereal? Yeah, they changed Chaz. It's the new name now. It's like, it's like Chad or Chad or something. It's a different name though. Google it. They ain't gonna last long. You get tired after a while, you know. Same old, same old. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, I'm hungry. <clears throat> I thought I was gonna start college this semester. I guess I'll keep up the fight. You know, just like that Lord of the Flies. It's like my haters, you know. It's just losers in life need a group. So, you know, and in that group, they'll do some really evil things to make rank. You know what I mean? I think you do, Ted and Dean. Wow, I made up a poem and I didn't even really go home. <clears throat> Better to smoke a tree than get wrapped around one. That's why I'm... 46 days. I was actually wrong. I didn't drink that Friday and I was done at Thursday in the afternoon. So I, I was off by like, by like a day and a half. Actually 46 days sober. Badlands Chug top 5 YouTuber? Nah, not even close, bro. You lined up with Badlands Chugs with like 10 
YouTube channels from Japan. They wouldn't even know who that dude was. It's a whole different world over there. I've tried to break into it plenty of times through Twitter. I'll be back on Twitter Wednesday morning. I'll be nice, but I'm taking over. I, I literally got a, a week suspension for calling a hillbilly a redneck. <laughs> or the other way around. Is there any difference? One has a burnt neck, right? Now you're like... <laughs> uh, wouldn't, I mean, how do you get a redneck? I mean, truck driving, you wouldn't get a redneck. You'd, have, you'd, you'd be called a red arm. You know, oh, look at this red elbow. Coming up here with his NASCAR shirt on. <laughs> uh, That's why I don't go down to the south. I always bust on him. You know what I mean? I'll shoot you a follow on Twitter. Shoot, you're the number one YouTuber. I know I am plant-based degenerate. All right? Someday I'm going to be on the Ellen Degenerate show, bro. I, I snuck up when I was a kid because I love comedy since I came out of the womb. And uh, Ellen DeGeneres was on uh, The Tonight Show. So I'd always sneak up just to see The Tonight Show. And Jay Leno was just like a filler for Johnny Carson. And Jay Leno would always have the comics on. Everybody was on there. Dave Chappelle, Adam Sandler, on and on and on. If you got on Johnny Carson, you had it made. So Ellen comes out. She's like, hey, hey. Well, I had a conversation with God the other day. Bling. Bling. Hey God, how you doing? It's Ellen. Ellen DeGeneres? Yeah, I know it sounds like that. And then she just talked to God for like 45 seconds and I, me as a 12, 13 year old kid just started laughing my butt off. I, I loved Eddie Murphy. He was my hero. <clears throat> Eddie Murphy was good. Seen him live in a small studio with like, well, amphitheater, like 200 people. And he had the bus boys on tour with him. So like when the curtain opened, oh, there was his band playing, <laughs> his bus boys. And it was like a high, you know, oh, everybody's just stoned in the audience. <clears throat> They're like, huh? I thought we came here to see a comedian. Are we here on the wrong night? And the bus boys, boys are back in town. Very racist movie, though, 48 Hours. They were in that, that song. Because they used the N-word a lot. Nick Nolte. I mean, he used a lot of bad names. Uh, so I'm surprised they even show that on cable TV anymore, the way, you know, things are changing. We're not going to have any more baseball names, no more... We're getting rid of the whole, everything in Washington. The monuments coming down. We're burning the Lincoln Memorial. I know, the, you don't, you hear about the new painting job coming at the White House? Yeah, it's going to be zebra. Yeah, it's going to be sick. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning and the White House has changed colors, and then it's time. Yeah, and it's time. Could be pink, could be any color. Any infiltration into the White House would be pretty crazy. And you'd realize what a pussy country we really are. You know? Freaking Venezuela's got 70, 80,000 people protesting. You know, and they shut them down in a night. You gotta get the water cannons, guys. You gotta get the water cannons. And just ride right up through that Seattle little new city we got. Oh, but they're being friendly. Oh, my God, there's movie night there. You can go watch movies. <laughs> That's like that movie Red Dawn when Patrick Swayze was really hot. <laughs> Dogs scare people, too. You know, I don't know what we're going to all move into. I'm 51. I'll be lucky to live to 55 with what I've done to my body. I'm not too worried about the future because I could care less about my family and stuff. So it's just like, eh, I'm just in limbo. You know, if I got to bust and move and, you know, start living out in the woods with other cast members. <laughs> uh, who was the hot chick in there back in the day? She was from Howard the Duck. She slept with a duck. That's bestiality. Howard the Duck. Um, she liked her son in the movie. She always played perverted parts. Leah Thompson, that was her name. Don't type it in now, you're too late. 
All right, guys, I'm going to give you a math equation. The first person to answer it, I'll write their name on my forehead. <clears throat> 25 times 3. Minus 11. Plus 44. Times two. <laughs> That's it. Equals. Equals. Wow, I went off on a tangent that one. Who got it? Who got it? Who's gonna get it? Oh, 208. 216 sounds good. I lost track right when I hit added the multiplication in. I just went. Nee. I used to be really good at math before the marijuana days. Decades, we can call them now decades. I'm going to go on tour. It's going to be called Hooked on Chronics. It's, it's right here. You don't have to go anywhere or buy a ticket. It's going to start right now. How's everybody doing today? Good, good, good to see everybody. I always wanted to be a comedian my whole life, you know what I mean? I was always that kid standing in the bathroom, you know holding up the dirty toilet paper, sucking it down like a, a popsicle, you know? A lot of people were entertained my junior year of high school. <clears throat> I don't do stand-up because I don't like humanity. Isn't that weird? Just, just crowds and people shaking hands, you're the best, you know all that. Ugh. God, if I have to have interaction with one more human being again, and now with all this stuff out there in the world, everybody always looking at me like I'm some kind of a cop Trump supporter. That's why I'm growing my hair all out so I can be a hippie again. I hate looking like a cop, you know, stereotyping me. I used to get beat up by the cops all the time. Trust me. <clears throat> I used to try and buy weed all the time. No, no, he's 5-0. 5 -0. Five -0. Psst, Your mom's a ho. I can't stand pigs. Give me a dime bag. I'll pay double. I'm Jonesing. Oh, yeah, he ain't a cop. He that dude from YouTube. He will start hip-hop. Yeah, that's that dude. Started a huge gang fight one day because I bought weed off of the uncle, and I should have bought it off the nephew. And then I guess the uncle's friend or the father. I just started flipping out, man. And I just, like, crawled out of this huge fight with my bag of weed. You know what I mean? Who's the one that started all this? There he goes right there. I said, chase me. <laughs> You're the dude from The Simpsons? No, he's not. <clears throat> she just told you, bro. I ain't Homer. I ain't the dude on the bus. I used to be able to do all them characters. All right, let's get a shout out to these names so you can show your name being announced by a Netflix movie star in 20 years to your kids. What's up, James Woods? What's up, 199? What's up, Resale Nation? Drop top. He must have a convertible Mustang with a small, you know what, motor. What's up, JYE Ants? How you doing, Jakey Wakey? What's up, No Neck Andy? What's up, Legendary Beast 02? What's up, Dr. Dick with lips, chairman of the PDPC? What's up, Alexander Colombo? What's up, MDR Creations 96? What's up, Gavin Flanagan? Oh, Flanagan, biggest bullies growing up. I just hear that name and it makes me shiver. I'm going to have to block you, Bumpy Johnson. We don't need people like you around here. I got him. I got him, Keenan. Keenan probably has to come in and out of here. You know, I take care of business. It's my channel, you know what I mean? Take care of business. Thanks again for the cameo, my buddy Liam's birthday. Oh, man. Out of the 6,000 birthdays I've sang in a year, Liam's was one of the most touching, bro. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I said a happy birthday to you. A happy birthday 
Dear Liam, pussy, happy birthday to you. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, you're not that Liam, the other Liam? All right, my bad. A lot of Liams out there. Who's going to name their kid Liam? Yeah, you push so hard, baby pops out. Everybody get around. We already found a name for him. I'll lay him. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, sister, I'm out. Come on, Marge. Liam, what the hell is Liam? <clears throat> I'm just kidding, bro. You can change your name anytime you want in reality. Can. I'm going to be shoe nice. Just shoe nice. Call me Mr. Nice like the guy did on Guinness World Records going wild. Mr. Nice, you're going to eat 20 matches, <laughs> birthday candles on fire and almost die in front of a studio audience, and then we're going to let you try again. Yeah, I got a big home in California, dude, three-story. Like, it's like uh, the Munsters, bro, it's sick. <clears throat> or not the Munsters, Adam's family, Adam's family, you know, big, big, huge tower in the front. You know what I mean? Either way, guys, the hotel days are going to be ending. But we've just begun. I've only been on YouTube 10 years this December. I'm going for 35-year occupation on here, guys. We're not even halfway through my YouTube career. We've been up. We've been down. Don't matter. It's not the people that came around and left or thought I was dead. It's all the people I'm going out and finding over the next decade. Which will be millions of people. Thank you. Just buckle in and sit back because this epicness is about to begin. It's a nice rap. <clears throat> so, it's working out all right, guys, huh? We're not glitching, we're not itching, and we're not snitching. You know what I mean? As long as you're not itching and you're not snitching, you ain't a real crack whore. <laughs> now that's funny. Some people think I'm far and it's just a chair. I don't know, somebody said I farted in a video. I wouldn't do that to you guys. I'm an alien. We don't form gases in our stomachs. When I sit back, it's harder to hear, though, right? I'm just going to get a resting stand right here. So I like to sit back and relax talking to you guys for 10 hours a week. Thank you, everybody, for the $74 in donations. Like I said, at the end of every month, we're only in our second week. At the end of every month, I'm going to read all the Snapchatters that donated. And if you believe that, you'll donate five right now. Did anybody see the six dudes win the $3.6 million on the roulette game? They put everything in. So that's like 600000 a piece on one spin of the wheel. That's a wheel, right? Roulette. Wow. How do you win that much money? What's up, Johnny? I like you, too. I just don't like people that didn't put an age H in the Johnny. You know, you're going to name your kid Johnny. Do it like everybody else. So I can say, do it for Johnny. I might as well call you Liam. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Caleb. I used to call people Caleb for years. Years, collab, and so fun. Somebody finally typed it in right. Could it be Caleb or collab? Is Caleb, K-A, collab, C-A? I don't know. And then Sam, C-E-M. I always call him Cum. <clears throat> Entertainment is my job. Who told me to get a real job? Get him out of here, Keenan. You're being too nice today letting my father hang out in here. He's right below you, punk. Is that my great-grandfather? Wow, he's got the shoe-nice forehead. I 
I think I seen him on Ancestry.com. I went there the other day. My family tree was shaped like a marijuana leaf. Go figure. I come from four generations of hemp smokers. Oh my God. Kapuniai. Kapuniai. I like that, dude. You donated with the thing. And that dude is just, man, he looks like he's sucking down a pencil. It's like he's eating a pencil with the eraser, making me real. Watch your mouth, boom cakes. Who you calling that? You go in time out and scrub the urinals with Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Yeah, I've changed, and I bang Betty Crocker. <clears throat> What's up, Hunter? How you been, you Canadian pussy? I'm just, I'm guessing. I've never met a hunter I didn't hate. You know what I mean? Uh, think Corona's bad. I have that disease where you like stab. Oh, that's so funny. Knife teeth. Hee <laughs> hee How's the fake family avatar doing? You know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. You always got to have that idiot coming at some time in the chat. Made you jump. <sighs> Let's see how the biceps are doing, guys. Let's see how big little B's getting. Let's see if little B's growing a based arm. Psst. Little B getting huge. Hmm. Left shoe or right shoe? This doesn't matter. I can come at you, Sal Poi. Sal Poi, just bring it back in Apollo Creed style, bro. Because I'm going to show you this from across the ring. And you're going to run to your mommy in the audience, bro. You're going to be like, I don't want any of that. And I'm going to pull back and I'm going to be like, too late. <laughs> My fist will be coming back so fast, your face will be sucked in <laughs> to the backdraft. Fuck. Mm. And that's how I'm going to scare somebody. And if not, I'm going to be running. UFC, they don't even fight in front of people. It's like the house. The UFC house. Now, why do I wear this? Because I'm some... I style, guys. I put on old jogging suits. I'm 51. I'm gangster. I'm mafia. I'm a good fella. You want to say in the corner where I'm going to be up in lights when I'm 70? Don Rickle style. That's his Vegas. <laughs> you call me Wesley Snipes, punk? Better be calling me Post Malone. Always high, baby. If he ever saw this, he'd be cracking up, Post Malone. He's big now, so he's busy. Watch your mouth, Gerald. Who names their kid Gerald? Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Is your family cheering out when you graduated fifth grade? Jerry, Jerry. Please. <laughs> Don't be laughing at him, Liam. Did I call you Lee Lee? <laughs> Lee. <clears throat> What's up, Liam? Psst, this don't sound right, man. Are we picking up Liam? Nah, why? I can't stand his name. No room. Know what I mean, Bob, Jim, and Frank? <laughs> uh, but Liam's probably tight in England, right? Everybody's Liam and Caleb and Sam. Top of the morning to you, pussies. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes I change into that dude, Hank. Yeah, you remember Hank. Me, myself, and Irene. Yeah, don't you play with me. I'll twist your little tiny nipples. All right. Yeah, I pounded you last night. What are you going to do about it? All right, then. <clears throat> Very good movie. I just don't like Jimmy. I don't like Jimmy Carey anymore. 
I miss Tommy Boy, man. Jim Carrey. <laughs> Chris Farley. Good people, man. Good people. Living in a van down by the river. Stay out of California. Why don't you come get some of this before I get there? Why don't you meet me in Utah, tough guy? Come on, man. Why don't you bring a gang of Mormons at me, bro? Come on, dude. You ain't doing nothing, punk. I'm rolling in that state and I'm swinging on you all the way from Nevada, bro. Come on, man. I'll shut you down on the California. <laughs> what is it called? West Coast Highway, bro. I'm West Coast, baby. You ain't doing nothing about that, bro. I'm West Coast like Chanel. I'm fucking slut from ridiculousness. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Because I was born in the USA. All right? And I'll lay you out like a little pussy. Yeah, read it right, bro. Read it right. Recognize the size of the fries. Jason Genova, I heard he wants to fight me now. <laughs> How tall is he? Amy. What am I going to do? Is that a little boy? <clears throat> Got about a 12 foot reach on him and a 12 foot fucking, or 12 inch. <laughs> 12 foot, I'd be fighting anybody. You don't even have to leave the corner. You'd just be like, Psh. But my arms, I still got to reach, guys. And that reach comes around. You don't think you're going to, this just looks like it doesn't do anything. Oh, it's going to hurt, trust me. It's going to hurt anybody that gets hit by it. Okay, how many times you've been hit in the face? Come hit this dollar sign. And thanks, so. Ow. That's right. <clears throat> Rob Deerdeck, he knows you're nice. They bought a video off me and they gave it to another show. That's how much he likes me. <laughs> He's like, I ain't putting him on this pitiful show. Let's put him on another. He bought all that. He, he was just a host and then they were going to cancel it. And then it went on and they were going to go on off of MTV. And he just paid it all out because he just likes hanging out. But that one dude's very racist. And I, I called him out on Twitter and know what he said? You got some shit on that shit on your lip. I said, dude, I was saying, why, why do you always have to rip on certain people of color every time there's a video? And he just wears angry clothes and he just doesn't represent a good show about videos. Chanel, she just, she thinks she's all that. So she, her Instagram, she nasty. She, whose clothes are you modeling? Her skater dudes on freaking... Santa Cruz? Mm, give me a show. Let me stand up like Tosh.0 or Rob Deerdeck and point to a green screen and rip on videos. Because there'd be nobody like me. Trust me. Tosh.0, he knows I'm funnier than him. He stole my jokes. And then you got five writers that are writing half the stuff for you. Tosh.0 is a millionaire, though. He hit the millionaire club, like, right around when they were filming me. Like, a couple of months before that, where he got a million in the bank or something. <laughs> How's my son? I don't have a son, bro. I, 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 I just disowned everything during my opiate crisis. You know, what can you do? Can't live on the past when the future's going to be such a blast. You know, families are overrated, dude. <laughs> Graduations, weddings, relationships. It's all overrated, bro. You'll see in the end. Marcus, you got to come in with a face. Jack donated without a face, so I'll let him slide. Eat a Homer Simpson plush for a new stunt? What's a plush? Never heard of it. Dope. Oh, Homer. I'm sorry, Marge. I just never heard of it. Because you're a fucking idiot. Don't swear, Marge. This is family friendly. I'm sorry. I fucking forgot. Was that what you wanted? Who's deleting messages, Keenan? Ooh, I got a secret moderator in here. Huh. 
Secret moderator, secret moderator. Block you in a second. Oh, where did he go? <laughs> no, screw Colorado, bro. This place is beat, expensive. There's, there's rush hours every hour, either way. You never not in traffic, you know? I'm going to the country, bro. I'm going to Orchard Land, baby. I'm going to where you get your walnuts, bro. Central Cali, baby. I'm not going to be on the West Coast. I'm not the San Andreas Fault people. Imagine if there was a big earthquake and, like, the whole Steve will do it and now Kyle's collapsed. And they were, like, all in bed. And they just got all thrown out and just, you know, not not injured, just, you know. <laughs> that would be so funny. Mm. The highest dose of mushrooms? <sighs> I'm going with two nickels in about a half a day. I didn't, I thought they weren't working. And I was trying to sell beer at a Grateful Dead concert by myself and I, I could feel all these people just knowing I was tripping so hard and they were taking advantage of me. And I, to this day, I know it was real or was it? Because yeah, I remember a guy grabbed my beer and they're just all waiting and I'm really keen. My peripheral vision is like an IMAX movie theater, bro. I see everything. People always said, dude, you should have been a homicide detective. You talk to me and I ask you a question, you don't tell me the truth. I know, bro. I'll see you in your nightmare. Next question. My favorite, <laughs> favorite DVD player. I'm going to have to go with the, the um, X100, RCA X100. It had the turnstile. You didn't know if you were watching, you know, <laughs> a John Wayne movie. There. It's a whole new shoe, a whole shoe world. What a beautiful movie. Now at the store, you can get full blown whatever, the princesses or whatever from the movies. I wanted to get one and just start fucking ripping the balloon apart with a steak knife. I just don't think that'd be YouTube friendly. Where does Ted's wife wash off her clothes? Probably good will. You know what I mean? She looks good from afar, but she's far from good. <laughs> That's what my boss in the roofing truck. These roofers, when I first started roofing, they act like they never saw women before. And I was a good looking teenage buff dude, so I always attracted bitches from like the other house. They'd come out and swim in the pool because they seen me and my blue eyes. And I mean, they just be like, and like we drive up and you're like, oh, look at this ass, look at it. And we get up and it was a dude with like long hair, like some Skid Row singer or something. And the sign said, long hair freaky people need not apply. So I put my hair up under my hat and I went in to ask him why. He said, you look like a fine, outstanding young man. I think you do. So I pulled out my water pistol and I shot him. It was filled with pee and poo. Signs, signs everywhere, signs. See how I turned it into a nonviolent act through the song itself? Well, that's called being nice to society. Uh, VHS, we had Terminator and we had Rocky III. It was our first two movies and we just watched them over and over. We knew every line. You're not sour, kinda. Of course not. I'm Art Simpson. You're down between my legs. And Rocky III, we knew every... Uh, <laughs> You're a bum, Rocky. You mean a bum? They weren't real fighters? Oh, shit. <clears throat> and then me and my brother, we turned down the TV at a party or our parties, and everybody would sit around... And we would just ad lib anything. The cable box was like this back in the day. But any show, an old movie, black and white, infomercial, the news, me and my brother would just start doing the voices. And somehow, some way, it would always fit into the scene. It was really cool when we were tripping. 
Mm-hmm. Hey, bud, are you off the bottle? Yeah, I've been off the bottle, dude. You've been off the Avatar scene? Because you ain't got one. That's what we need to do, guys. we got to start going by construction sites. They're harmless little videos. And we got to find the guy just leaning on the, the, you know, back of the truck. You must be the boss because you ain't doing shit. He ain't going to chase you or whatever, but you got to have other crew members around that laugh. I used to do that before there was even YouTube and videos. I would drive by and say that, always yelling at it. And then I knew my buddy, and we used to fight all the time in school. He was like the foreman on this street that was just rebuilt for miles, and I had to drive on it every day on opiates after I broke my back to go to therapy. To this day, they still remember. Bajorn, why was he ripping on me, man? Why was Bajorn ripping on me, man? Is he raining? Uh, uh, Sue Nice. Sue Nice, I need to talk to you. Why are you such an idiot? You need to go to the store, buy food, come home and cook it like I do. No, I don't, Bajorn. I would never follow your lead. I would never follow your outline. You are the most boring person I've ever met on IP2. And I was going to put your name right there, dude. And now I say, poo on you. You live in the most boring town. It looks like that movie, Shaun of the Dead. There's nobody. And every time you do see somebody, it's a bitch that looks like a zombie. Now I'm L.A. Beast. Yeah, that's right, L.A. Beast. Now you're sitting up off your couch with that stanky, stanky popcorn. Can't pick on people anymore, guys. Can't even bully L.A. Beast. Oh, he loves their report. That's the new thing now. You got to show your reporting history. Now you can sh see a whole list of everything you reported, and then you can find out who reported. You know what I mean? <sighs> Wheezy and Ted would be weeks. <clears throat> now, who is Bajorn? You sound like you're from there, McCalf Klein. Have you seen Calvin Klein? Yeah, the kid that fell <laughs> in front of the car on Back to the Future. Uh, anybody want to see me do the doc? If you missed it yesterday, anybody want to see me do the doc from Back to the Future? <laughs> uh, we can't repeat stuff. What's up, Elfer? How you been, man? You still begging for views off of YouTube? You'll never get anywhere doing that, bro. Okay. Me and a couple do push a porta potty with a snitch in it. We had it on us for smoking crack on the job, construction life. Dude, I would have came out of there. I would have taken that crack pipe out of your pocket, knocked you out with one of your friends, got your mom's address, would have drove over there and said, how you doing, man? Your son smells like shit. <laughs> oh, wait, I smell like shit, man. He's just knocked out. Yeah, he needs a ride. That's why I'm here. <clears throat> I loved your interview on Loudmouth. That was stupid, Wheezy. You know what I mean? You got to watch my other ones, bro. Got some new ones coming out. Already one is out. That's right. Tommy NC. Everybody go to Tommy NC. Good guy, man. I used to bust on him, but who doesn't bust on people? You know what I mean? Either way, guys. I spoiled you a little bit today. All right. Keenan, good job. Thanks for the donation. Everybody else, we do this five days a week, Saturday and Sunday. This is my spiritual time where I throw quarters at homeless guys on the street. It's fun watching them chase them. Sometimes they roll for blocks. It's called comedy and care, and some of you don't even know how to stare. Either way, Marge, you want to say anything at the end? You know, like an eel would do? I can't stand them. Just, they look like they smell. That's not nice. <laughs> I didn't say it, Ethan. Marge did. Come at me, bro. 